If I told you that you can burn fat while seated by moving just 1% of your muscles, would you believe me? Well, a recent study was published by the University of Houston where researchers discovered doing soleus push-ups continuously, even while sitting, can speed up the metabolism and improve blood glucose regulation. Muscle biopsies revealed that there was minimal glycogen contribution to fueling the soleus. Instead of breaking down glycogen, soleus can use other types of fuels, such as blood glucose and fats. Glycogen is normally the predominant type of carbohydrate that fuels muscular exercise. Neuroscientist Dr. Andrew Huberman said this research is very exciting for those who want to improve their health but don't have time to move and exercise as much as they'd like. He explained that this study was focused on how people who sit a lot of the day and don't have the opportunity or a lot of physical movement, and maybe don't even exercise at all, can improve their metabolism and glucose utilization. According to Huberman, small but regular exercise has incredible effects on the human body. These micro-exercises are beneficial in terms of positive effects on fitness, blood pressure, metabolism, and massive changes in body mass and LDL cholesterol. Huberman explains that soleus is located in the superficial posterior compartment of the leg. It's a powerful lower limb muscle situated deep in the gastrocnemius muscle. Together with gastrocnemius and plantaris, it forms the calf muscle, or triceps surae. It runs from the back of the knee to the ankle and is multipennate. The soleus has the most significant physiological cross-sectional area of the calf muscles and is thought to provide up to 80% of triceps surae force. Huberman says that the soleus muscle is designed to be used many times to stabilize our body when trying to stand, walk, run, or even exercise. This is a muscle that keeps contracting to help humans stabilize their posture. Huberman further discusses that, along with other calf muscles, it is a powerful plantar flexor and contributes significantly to running, walking, and dancing. It's also a major postural muscle designed to stop the body from falling forwards at the ankle during stance. In the seated calf raise, knees flexed approximately 90 degrees, the gastrocnemius is virtually inactive, while the load is borne almost entirely by the soleus. According to Huberman, the soleus is preferentially activated in the concentric phase, whereas the gastrocnemius is preferentially activated in the eccentric phase. Human soleus muscle tissue consists predominantly of slow twitch fibers, though the composition can range between 60 and 100% slow fibers. He says that even if you walk for hours, you won't feel sore. But if you do a bicep or tricep exercise carrying a light weight, like one pound or two pound weight, you will begin to feel exhausted and have body soreness. But the soleus muscle doesn't tire, even if you walk for hours. It's a strong muscle that is designed to work continuously. He says sitting in a chair all day is rough on our bodies. While making time to exercise may not negate the effects of sitting for hours on end, it can certainly help. He suggests that just a few minutes of micro-exercise can counter various impacts of sitting. According to Huberman, the soleus push-up might look similar to walking. When walking, your body minimizes the amount of energy the soleus uses. The soleus push-up is designed to maximize the energy used by the soleus for an extended duration, boosting your calorie burn dynamic in the process. He says that all you have to do is sit with your feet flat on the floor, raise your heel, keeping your toes planted on the floor. When your heel reaches the top of its range of motion, passively release your foot to come back down. Huberman says that when we eat food, our blood sugar rises, which is when insulin confiscates blood glucose. This blood glucose may not spike and convert into hyperinsulinemia, which is high blood glucose. The insulin matches the level of blood glucose. Also, if your blood sugar is low, you can become hypoglycemic, which is the first thing you would want to avoid. He says that insulin plays a main role in regulating peaks and troughs in blood glucose. And if your blood sugar has been elevated for too long, it can be life-threatening. People with severe diabetes take insulin on a regular basis because their body does not make enough insulin to control the blood glucose level and can damage organs and cells, leading to sudden death. Huberman says that type 2 diabetes mellitus consists of an array of dysfunctions, characterized by hypoglycemia, resulting from the combination of resistance to insulin action, inadequate insulin secretion, and excessive or inappropriate glucagon secretion. 
Type 2 diabetes is insulin insensitive, but its receptors are not sensitive to it. So they make two times more insulin than should be made, leading to irregulating blood glucose. Huberman emphasizes the importance of microexercise. He says if you're working to manage type 2 diabetes or trying to prevent the condition altogether, microexercise is crucial in making your goal a reality. He says that the long-term benefits of this microexercise on blood sugar and insulin health are unquestionable. 1% of musculature can reduce dependence on glucose-lowering oral medications and insulin. This small physical activity can help reverse prediabetes. According to Huberman, microexercising for insulin health doesn't have to be complicated. You can do this while sitting at your office desk, having lunch, or watching movies. By simply using one muscle, the soleus, you can perform a push-up exercise. The soleus push-up is an exercise that is likely to be new to many people. According to him, soleus push-up is one of the most beneficial exercises you could ever think to perform. The soleus push-up isn't performed to make the muscle bigger and stronger, but performing push-ups with it can improve metabolic health and the rest of your body. Huberman says that it's a straightforward exercise. All you have to do is sit down with your knees bent at an approximately right angle, square corner, and lift your heels while pushing down on your toe and contracting the calf muscle, then lowering the heel and raising that heel again. Each move is called the soleus push-up. According to Huberman, a recent study shows that people who have practiced soleus exercise continuously have seen massive improvements in blood glucose utilization and metabolism. Huberman further discusses the research and its impact on the participants. He says, the participant group in the study included an equal number of male and female volunteers with a wide range of BMI, age, sedentary time, and habitual daily steps. After examining changes in metabolism and blood glucose utilization, the researchers found that the group that performed the soleus push-ups while seated in the laboratory, some performed them for up to 270 cumulative minutes, i.e. 270 minutes worth of push-ups spread throughout the day, experienced dramatic improvements in blood sugar regulation and in metabolism, despite the fact that the soleus is just 1% of the total musculature. Huberman explains that the people who did soleus exercise have discovered great muscle strength. It's been inside our bodies all along, but no one knew how to optimize it until it was activated correctly. The soleus muscle can raise local oxidative metabolism to high levels for hours, not just minutes and does so by using a different fuel mixture. He says that the soleus push-up exercise can activate the metabolic potential of the soleus muscle. He revealed that the soleus push-ups led to a 52% improvement in stabilizing blood glucose fluctuations and a 60% reduced insulin requirement when participants were given glucose drinks. He says, push-up exercise keeps the soleus muscle energized by burning fat and blood glucose. This, in turn, enhances the metabolism while also managing high cholesterol levels. So the soleus push-up magical quality is likely tied to how this muscle keeps itself energized. The soleus's lower than normal reliance on glycogen helps it work for hours effortlessly without fatiguing during this type of muscle activity because there is a definite limit to muscular endurance caused by glycogen depletion. The soleus muscle uses blood glucose and fats to keep working, while we use the muscle for walking and running without getting tired. Huberman, as ever, makes the information easy to digest. He says, if you're somebody who cares about blood glucose regulation or want to keep your metabolism running, please don't stop exercising. But if you're somebody who wants to maximize your health, doing these soleus push-ups fairly continuously while seated will be beneficial. Soleus push-ups can offer some incredibly beneficial health benefits. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.